Many years ago, when Shoghi Effendi was trying to um, educate the Baha'is of the world about the concept of administration, he saw that they were struggling. I mean, they, they weren't fully aware that some, some thought that the Baha'i faith couldn't be organized at all. They were surprised by uh, some of the things Shoghi Effendi was explaining to them. And so he patiently worked with them as they made uh, different mistakes and challenges uh, arose, and he would patiently answer their questions and try to focus them on their work. But one of the things the Guardian pointed out uh, was uh, one of the problems that the friends face. He said, one of the main reasons why the faith does not advance more rapidly is because the friends have not learned to live with and work within the framework of the administrative order. Either they crystallize it into two set of form, or they rebel against what they feel to be a system and do not give it sufficient support. Both of these extremes impede the progress of the faith and the efficiency of the believers. So on the one hand, the friends would turn the administration into a kind of formula or recipe for action and become quite rigid. On the other hand, seeking to be free of any kind of structure, they rejected the system completely. And uh, in response to this, then, Shoghi Effendi evoked the idea of a framework, the framework of the administrative order. So within that frame, within that structure, within that matrix could come then all the concepts and elements and methods and instruments that are embedded in the teachings about the administration. But if we draw out just some of those pieces, well, we tend to get maybe rigid and mechanical about it. And if we look at, at so much of it that we want to do whatever we want, we tend to go to the other extreme. So he called the friends back again and again to understand the whole framework of the administration. And then they could begin to work patiently and continue to draw on insights from the, from the teachings about the administration. And gradually, as they translated those concepts into action, their understanding of the framework could grow deeper and could evolve over time. If you go back and you study and you look at many decades of work in the teaching field, what you uh, saw before 1996 was a tendency to go in one or two directions. Uh, we had communities where we could easily enroll a large number of people, but we struggled with the idea of um, building a community and consolidating those numbers. In other communities, it was tougher to teach, but then we could uh, focus a, a great deal on the consolidation effort, and, um, but then we would become generally small, very well administered, but generally inward looking. So the House of Justice then introduced this idea of a framework to again beget us to think of all of these elements together all the concepts and ideas uh, that the teachings contain about the concept of growth, but then also set us in motion with simple steps initially that could gradually grow in complexity and our understanding of this framework could become deeper uh, and uh, even broader over time as we gained more experience. And basically that's what's happened. You've seen uh, the, the most recent videos with a uh, uh, frontiers of learning uh, with some of the most advanced clusters in the world. Well, now we see we have a capacity in some 200 clusters in the world where uh, 100 or more individuals could create patterns of community life that would uh, embrace in a meaningful, vibrant, growing pattern of community life a thousand or more individuals. Well, you look at the scope of our activity now is in some 5,000 clusters. If we're able to transfer that same capacity that we have in some 200 clusters to 5,000 clusters, it means that we're capable then of embracing 5 million people in a meaningful pattern of life. And when we can expand that to every cluster in the world, 15,000, that's 15 million people. And then that's only if you go up to the level of some hundred taking care of a thousand. Well, in the most advanced clusters now we have, in the most advanced one, we have about five or six hundred people who are engaging 10,000 people. So the point is that a problem that we struggled with for several decades 
has now manifested itself in a proven pattern of action that only has to be taken to other places in a systematic way. And all of this was because we set our path along this idea of a framework. It kept us from going to one extreme or another until gradually we could resolve the challenge we face and come up with a pattern of effective action. Um, many years ago, when the House of Justice uh, wrote in 2001 about intensive program for growth, it didn't describe what an intensive program gr for growth was because it didn't know what it was. It could only describe certain ideas and concepts and prerequisites to set in motion the process of learning about it. Well, it was the efforts of the friend acting within that framework that mapped it out, that helped us to learn. So that in a short period of time, less than 10 years, we now see what a, a vibrant uh, program of growth looks like, where hundreds can, can um, engage thousands in a, in a vibrant process of growth and community building that has an impact on the wider society. And that was learned in a process of 10 years.